few moments after I opened another medical bill for $432 for one exam that my husband went to. Um, last Friday, we celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. We got married in 1999, and our life together seemed good and secure. We had good jobs, we had money in the bank, and the future looked good. Then in 2003, my husband was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. Fortunately, it was stage 1A. It's a very rare stage to find lung cancer in. And surgery went well and life went on. A month after surgery, my husband lost his job. We knew it was coming, and we had planned ahead and saved everything that we could. Because we knew it might be a while that another job came along. The plant that he worked at closed. Uh, we lived off of $200 a week of his unemployment, and we paid nearly $800 a month in COBRA insurance for 18 months. I didn't have coverage. We couldn't afford it. And then, then a year after the initial cancer diagnosis, a uh, regular CT scan showed more lesions in the lungs. And we had to go back, and they were so small, first in one lung, then in the second lung and the doctors were trying to see what they were. So we, in five weeks' time, we had five CT scans and one PET scan. Unfortunately, COBRA would only cover one, the expense of one CT scan, and they would not cover the PET scan at all. It was experimental. So we were left with well over a $5,000 bill on that. We still are paying those bills, but we survived. And then in October 2007, my husband had a heart attack. And after two surgeries and cardiac rehab, he's healthy and strong. But our bank account is not. Um, even with a good prescription drug benefit, we still spend $1,200 a year on medicines. And at one time, it was over $1,700. And we have big bills, and we have little bills. And at one time, I had 17 medical bills. Um, it's been two years since his heart attack. We're still paying them. And I don't even know how we're going to pay some of these bills sometimes. But I do know this. I know that my 32-year-old daughter was denied health insurance because she'd been treated for psoriasis. I know that my oncologist and radio when the oncologist and radiologist found a small aortic aneurysm in my husband's heart this year, I thought, how are we going to pay for that? Not what are the consequences and what can we do? But it was how are we going to pay for that? I know that six years ago we had nine months of living expenses in our savings account. We had ten months of ten weeks of paychecks in our checking account. We have roughly two weeks now, if I can get my husband not to eat. Um, I know that my husband's income is 33 percent less than it was in August of 2003, and it's 10 percent less than it was six months ago. I know that I don't own a cell phone. I don't have cable or satellite TV. My television is 19 inches, and we ha own one. We don't have air conditioning, and our newest car was built in the last century, and I know I can't afford them. I know that 19.6% of our gross income goes to pay health care expenses every year, and that doesn't include my eye exams or glasses or dental expenses. I know that just 10% of our gross income goes to pay for our house payment, taxes, and insurance. And I know that there's something wrong with this picture. We struggle, but we are a bit blessed. We're strong, capable Iowans that will make our way. My husband repairs and rebuilds everything from our 10 and 13 year old cars to our 30 and 40 year old lawnmowers to our 115 year old house. We have a large garden. I can over 700 jars of produce a year. I bake our bread daily. I raise chickens and I sell eggs. And I teach what I know to help others learn will find a way. We were conservative with our money. We're simple people with few needs and fewer wants. We tried to plan for the future. We just didn't know health care would take the future away. We have good educations and a strong work ethic, and we want to be in the middle class again. I want to be able to buy my granddaughter gifts just because. I want to be able to go to the mall, not the thrift store, to buy my clothes. And I would like to have traded in a 1996 clunker. But I won't until the hospital and the doctor bills are paid. It's just not going to happen. I don't want a free ride on medical expense. But I don't want to be bankrupt because my husband had a heart attack.